All right, last be careful, Kansas City at Denver. Kansas City is laying nine and a half points. So I know what people are going to be thinking on this, which is, are the Chiefs going to score 20? Because if they are, that's enough to cover nine and a half against Denver. Yep. I mean, Denver's <laughs> offense is going backwards. Yeah, that Denver's offense, like, we've gone through it a n- number of times on the show, but they've scored like two touchdowns in the last month. Last week, they didn't get in the red zone once. But it's just, I mean, it's just just impossible how bad that offense has been, right? They're averaging less than 14 points per game this year. The Chiefs are coming off and, you know, they're angry. I'm sure Kelsey feels like he blew that game against Cincinnati with the fumble. Mahomes is upset. However, historically, the Chiefs never lose to the Broncos. But the Broncos, at least once a year, play them tight. And because of that, and because the entire gambling public is going to be on the Chiefs, minus nine and a half, I'm throwing it in the be careful category. So since you're a Chiefs fan, you don't want to get on the Denver line here because everything that you just explained basically says, like, bet on Denver. Well, maybe, except everything I just said explains bet on Denver. Everything we watched from Denver this year says if you're only getting nine and a half points, the moment the Chiefs get to 14, you're like, I might be screwed. <laughs> like, if I need a touchdown to cover this thing, I, 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 might, I might be screwed. So, to me, it's a be careful. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts, or just click the link in the description below.